Hey, this is Russ from American Artist Road Trip. In this day of digital photography, automatic cameras and Photoshop, the art of photography really is ending an era that was so rich in texture and romance. These days you don't need to know what ASA stands for or even what an f-stop is. It was such an honor to sit down recently with Hal Gould, truly the last of a generation of photography masters. He has traveled to all seven continents and extensively photographed the American Western landscape. Born in Wyoming in 1920, he has lived the life of a boxer, aviator, and railroad worker. And at 90, he's hardly slowed down. His gallery, the Camera Obscura, which opened in 1979 in Denver, has perhaps the finest collection of fine art photography in the country, with a mix of classic prints and works by emerging photographers. I was lucky enough to catch him one autumn morning as he opened the gallery for the day. He has worked and converted with some of the biggest names in photography in the past century. Emma Jean Cunningham, Ansel Adams, Edward Weston, and Brett Weston. In this gallery, there's a lot to take in. Two floors of visual temptations for the eyes and the soul. He has made it his life's work to showcase the finest photography and to educate anyone interested in the beauty of what the camera's lens can capture. I will see it. To be honest, I had no agenda when we sat down, except to capture his essence. A couple of minutes. Okay, well, we'll see. You've been all over the world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah all seven continents. Uh, how does that feel to come back to America, come back to the West? Huh? Good to be home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, you spent a lot of time in New Mexico, right? Yeah. Down there. I think it's just beautiful. I think the light is amazing down there. Yeah. I think the clouds. And I was down there two weeks ago for four days. Uh -huh. Great trip. Right. Great trip. Now you you knew some of the masters back then, the Ansel Adams. Did you knew? Did you know Weston? Oh yeah. Yeah. Both of them. Uh huh. Imaging kind of them. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, sure. Right. Where did you see him at? Was it down in New Mexico? Uh, well, Yosemite. Uh huh. And then uh, at uh, his home and hey, is that some old stuff that you've done years ago? A reorder. Uh huh. That a man wanted. I only have one eye. No. And when I lost my eye, I talked to a couple of men who had lost their eye, and they said that they couldn't print anymore. They had to give up their dark room if uh -huh. they couldn't print. And I was determined. What were some of your favorite places in Colorado to photograph? Well, anywhere. Oh. It's not like it used to be. I used to. I used to. When I first came to Colorado, I had a studio here for 25 years, and every weekend almost I'd take off for the weekend back in the mountains uh -huh. in the summertime. And now I go back there and it's all built up with condominiums just, and yeah. <coughs> limited access. The traffic. What traffic, yeah. yeah. You know, I stop and Camp any, any, any place you wanted to. Right. Find a beautiful stream and camp by it, and no more. Right. No more. What about Moab? Did you get out to Utah much? Arches. Uh, well, I've been there, but yeah. not lately. Yeah. Not lately. Did you shoot back then, decades ago, back in the forties and fifties? Right. Well. 60s and 70s, uh -huh. yeah, but not 
Well, the last time I was there, I guess, was the 80s or 90s. Uh -huh. Maybe 15 years. I haven't been there maybe 10 years. What was it like going down and shooting at the Pueblos in New Mexico back in, you know, 30, 40 years ago? Oh. In the 50s. Was, were, was photographers welcome down there? Uh, well, you know, they were all, all Native Americans. They had their own, their own culture. It doesn't include the white man at all. They have their own culture, but they have to adapt. And when, when people say it's so friendly with the Native Americans, uh, or, or they have good friends that are Native Americans, only so much, only so much. Because uh, now, on on, uh, let's see, in Taos, I think it's New Year's, the, uh, the Native Americans take over on New Year's. Is that right? I didn't know that. And it's, it's really, really a funny thing, and they, To any American tourist that's there that night, they pretend that, that, that they are American dealing with Native Americans. Right. You know, uh huh. Making a big joke out of it. And uh, treating the, the, the way they've been treated. The way Americans treat them, stupid questions and everything else, they turn around and pull that off on huh. on any. Of, oh, I was on her two weeks ago. Yeah, and now they're trying to restore the Pueblo as a uh, national monument. Yeah, they're trying to restore it now to a national monument and take care of it, and it's. They have a designation as a historic landmark, which is recent. They knew they now have a, and so that's good. That's yeah, it should be. It should be. It's very vast. And the color one, the work's done in color because of those shoes. Peppers, you see, bright red. Most dynamic medium for artistic expression of the 21st century. Exactly. As I was finishing up editing this segment recently, I read that the gallery will be closing soon, most likely May 1st. Give yourself an absolute treat and spend an afternoon there. Don't miss out on witnessing some of the greatest fine art photographs under one roof.